Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Leah. This is Homeschool at Heart and today we're gonna to be talking about some homeschool must-haves. Okay, so this video is in collaboration with Jessica from The Waldock Way and Abby from Rooted and Rest. It's part of the Homeschool Show and Tell series, which is basically a lot of us moms getting together and making a playlist for you of all of the ways that we separately and individually homeschool and how it's different for each of our families. And we just want to showcase all of the different ways that that works for everybody's individual families. So thank you to Abby and Jessica for hosting us and make sure that you check out the playlist in the description box below so that you can get an idea of what all these different great homeschool moms are doing in their homeschools. So today's topic is homeschool must haves. So in my home, we don't have a lot of like, we have a lot of stuff, <laughs> stuff we don't necessarily need. And so I do want to just like reiterate or explain or just make sure that you know <laughs> that you do not need stuff to homeschool. Uh, a lot of times all you really need is yourself. Your kids just need you. So you can get by with a computer or a tablet or some kind of device, a good wireless printer, and a library card. That is all that you really need to homeschool. You can just read good books to your kids and, you know, have some access to some printing. And that is all that you really need. And you can give your kids a good education like just like that. But here are a couple of tools that I have found this year that have been super helpful. I think I have five things. So I'll start off with this. One of the things this year that I have been working really hard with my second grader on is reading. So she has always been, I don't want to say a reluctant reader because it's not really been that she hasn't wanted to read. It's been that it's just been a difficult thing for her to do. So I have been over the, since kindergarten really, looking into ways to help make reading either more fun for her or less difficult. And a couple of the things that I came across this past year that have actually helped her are, so we have these bookmarks that I found on Amazon. I will link all of these things. I believe you can find all of them on Amazon. So this is one of the things. These are bookmarks, they come in a big pack. I think there were like 30 of them. Funny thing was that today I could only find this one and it is the least cute one of the bunch. It comes in tons of different colors, the different like inside the, the section colors too. So what this basically does is, and of course I don't really have a book right here. So here's a book. So what you can do with these bookmarks is you put the text in the little box and that way it like kind of blocks out. And it's funny because they didn't really have this when my oldest was reading, but I remember taking like a really large post-it note and kind of like trying to cover all of the text except for the line that she was reading, but this makes it so much easier. So you can kind of just go along. And she has loved that. Also, something that I learned after I bought these is that from another parent who had them, is that the colors, depending on your kid, a different color will work best for looking through for each kid. Like, I don't know what it is about like the way that their brain works, but looking through, that's why they have these different colors. So there was like pink and blue and green and yellow. I think there was like a clear in there. So I'll link those for you guys, but they also are great bookmarks, which is why I can only find one because they're like plastic thick ones. So they don't tear, they don't bend very easily. They just are really, they're really great and they're really inexpensive also. So along the same lines, I promise you this is a pointer finger. So this is like a little pointer thing. So as we're going along, um, sometimes Charlotte's not like sitting on my lap while we're reading. Um, sometimes she's doing a math problem or something across the table and I need to like, 
redirect her and like say, hey, remember this? So like I can point out things to her. This is a book about Laura Ingalls Wilder and the like places. Just, you know, in case you're wondering what in the world. So, you know, I can point to individual words or math problems or whatever. This helps to keep her on track and she thinks it's super silly. So of course she loves it. So that also from Amazon. Actually, I think all of these things were from Amazon. So um, next up, very well used item in my home is this little teeny tiny whiteboard. So it has whiteboard on both sides. Charlotte has drawn a bunny. Its name is Snowball. <laughs> But it has like a little stand so you can tighten these up and it will stand up. This is a lifesaver. We use it for so many things. It's just nice to have a small one. And I like that it stands up because when she dictates something to me to write for like her history notebook, I can write down what she wants to say. And then I can just set this up. She can look really easily at what she needs to write down in her notebook and we're good to go or we can use it for math we can use it for a whole number of things i mean like any it's a whiteboard so obviously there's a lot of uses for it but i just i like that it's small it's easy to stick in my morning basket and then i like that it can stand up easily so that the kids can use it for like copy work so next up is something similar it's a book stand super cute so i like to decorate like theme wise for our unit studies and this helps a lot with just like setting the table and getting things ready for the for the kids to just be excited about whatever it is that we're learning about so i will put you know a colorful book or like during the summer, we used this for our slow down book. So I would open it up to whatever page we were looking at for the day. And then the kids could read the little sections about different things. They'd like to take turns with that. So this is cute. I even use it in the kitchen when we're doing cooking, things like that. It just like moves everywhere. There's even like a hole where you could put your tablet cords or whatever through it too. So if you wanted to use it for that. All right, and then last but not least, this thing gets used constantly in our homeschool is a tiny little sticker photo printer. We use this for nature journaling. We use this for, with our charter school, we have to turn in work samples for extracurricular activities. So I put, I let them put a picture in their journal of like them with their voice teacher or them doing, you know, their drama stuff with their friends or what have you. I use this for my book journal this is the Canon Ivy. I know that there's an HP Sprocket also. They work about the same. And then you just use, it's it's an inkless printer, so it just uses heat to print the picture onto the little sticker. And then you stick it on. Oh, and I also use this. We have a Yodo player, and we can make our own cards with that. A Yodo player is like an audiobook player. I can make my own little cards that insert into the player to play the stories and stuff. And I use the printer to also like make labels for those cards. So those are the must haves that I decided to show today. Hopefully one or more of those things looked cool or interesting or inspiring to you guys. I will, again, I'll link all of those things in the description box below and make sure that you check out the playlist and see what other fun things the other moms have come up with. I will see you guys next week in my next video. Have a good week. All right, guys, thank you for sticking around to the end. So this is my funny story. I thought this was appropriate for this particular video because probably a lot of other content creators are watching. Don't be like me, guys. So I had filmed several videos ahead and I went to go edit them this, <laughs> this weekend and realized that I had eaten dinner and typically I check my teeth and I check my hair and I check all of the things before I get on camera and film, but I was in a rush because I had, instead of just eating food that was here, decided that I should take myself 
to Panera and get the new, like, not new, but the summer salad that is only out during certain parts of the year because I love that salad. It's the one that has, like, all of the fruit and stuff in it, the poppy seed dressing. And I had a poppy seed <laughs> in my teeth, like, right here in the front of my mouth. And you could see it in every single take that I shot. So I had to reshoot all of the videos, which is why this one is coming out a little bit late instead of during the the time I would normally post the video for the show and tell. So I had poppy seed teeth. So anyway, that is my story. I had to reshoot all of the videos, including my sixth grade curriculum pics and this one. Um, so don't be like me. If you zoom in on the on the thumbnail for this video, you will see the poppy seed in my teeth. Hopefully you don't do that though. So um, anyway, I hope you guys are having a good week and I will talk to you in my next video.